Hi boys and girls, welcome to phonics. So today we're gonna continue to work on what we were working on yesterday as phonics experts. But this time we're gonna be word builders tackling more interesting words, like specifically in our writing pieces. You know the part where it says craft? Craft words are really strong words and sometimes they could get tricky when we're trying to spell them in our writing. But now that you know to tackle longer words and how to tackle them, I'm positive you'll do excellent. Let's start some phonics. Our teaching point is the following. Phonics experts build longer and more complex words by writing the word one part at a time, making sure to include all the syllables they hear in the word so they can become stronger readers and writers. Now, Remember when we talked about working methodically? Working methodically from beginning to end is very important as a writer. Not only does it help to improve your writing skills, but you become a stronger reader as well, okay? But today we're gonna to focus on our writing. So let's begin. Now, I was writing a piece about how my opinion about a book that I've been reading, and I wanna include a craft word that's a little tough, okay? And I want to remind you that writers, right, are always searching for the perfect word that means exactly what they are trying to say. For example, in my writing piece, right, about my book that I'm reading, the, author, the character's name is M M Michelle, and I wanna find a word that describes the way she moves around. And I need a word that's better than the boring going or running word, you know? Maybe I could say the word scampering. Have you ever heard of that word? So scampering means to run quickly, but not in a heavy stopping sort of way. If someone scampers, they run quick, light steps, like an excited little puppy. Or you know like the character cartoon characters that you may watch in shows, they scamper around throughout the, 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 the series that they're in? Yes, that's definitely a perfect word. It's exactly how Michelle runs around. But yikes, guess what? Now I have to figure out how to spell this word. So now it's time for me to get my construction hat. Use everything I know about being a word builder. So let me get my construction hat so I know I'm ready found it. I'm going to put it on. Now I'm ready to tackle this. Are you ready to see how I do it? All right. Now, so first I'll clap and count the syllables. Will you try it with me? Here we go. Scamp-per-ing. Ooh. How many syllables or how many times did I clap? Yes, three times. Scamp Per ing, scampering. Now I'm gonna show you my video of how I do it. So pay attention. So I'm gonna include the three lines for the three syllables in the word scampering. Okay. One, two, three. Three lines. Now the first part is scam. Easy peasy, I hear a blend, sk, right? I hear a blend, sk, right, okay. And I hear the word part, am, am, scam, there we go. Now I hear per, I hear p and er, p, p, er. And type it in and er. Good. Now I hear the ending, which is a third syllable. Scamper ing. I N G. Yes. So now I, record, I recorded my third syllable in my writing or spelling of the word. Now I'm going to spell it out without any spaces. Scamper ing. Now I have to check. Uh-oh. G. 
Yep, there we go. Now I have to check. Does it look right? Hmm, let me look at it. Okay. Scampering. Yes, it looks right. So right now, quickly, scamper around your, your spot. Stand up and scamper around. Will that be slow? No, it'll be quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Now sit down. Excellent. All righty. Now it's going to be your turn. What I want you to do today as a phonics expert is to go look at one of your writing pieces that you finished or you're currently working on. And I want you to include a strong craft word in that writing piece, okay? To reflect how you would describe maybe the character in the story that you're writing about or maybe what they did. But think of a really strong word, okay? And I want it to fit the ideas you have about this character. And don't worry about how tricky that word is to spell. You're going to put on your construction hat like I did. You're going to roll up your sleeves. Sometimes some words are really tough. And you're going to use all that you know about word building and syllables to spell it. Okay? Remember, you've got lots of tools like vowel team charts, blends, and digraph charts to help you. So use this, okay? To build it and spell it, remember, use big parts of the word to help you. Just like I did in scampering, I use scam. I know that word, put it together. Then I use the recorded each syllable, per ing, scampering. So as you go off to write in writing workshop today, or as you're revising maybe some of your pieces, Think about what we just learned today. As word builders and as phonics experts, we were able to tackle more interesting vocabulary words. Sometimes the vocabulary words are strong and harder, but I know that you can do it. You have a lot of confidence. A lot of you have been growing. So off you go. Bye.